Hi guys! Alright, I am live. Alright, so it's Monday. So excited to have a new week. My parents are in town and we've just been having a lot of fun, so it's been nice. So I hope you guys are having a great 4th of July week. Um, my name is Jackie Peterson. Um, I am a mom of two. I'm also a fitness trainer and, um, you know, the reason I do what I do is help women become healthier and more balanced while honoring their priorities. So that's really my mission and why I'm here and why I share this message. But today what we're talking about is um, this is specifically for moms and specifically for moms who are breastfeeding. Um, we're talking about three reasons why your milk supply might drop while you're trying to lose weight. So if you're hopping on, let me know, are you a mom and are you breastfeeding or maybe you breast breastfed a previous baby or you're hoping to breastfeed like let me know how old are your little ones um and you know let me know if you're a breastfeeding mom just say i'm a mom of two or one and let me know how old they are i'd be really curious to hear that um hey crystal thanks for hopping on hey ladies thank you so much for hopping on all right so today um you know this is like a a huge concern that i get from Almost all the moms I work with, I would say it's probably like more like 60, 40 to the women that I work with that are breastfeeding, the women that aren't breastfeeding. I mean, obviously I work with all moms and all women, but a lot of them are breastfeeding. Um, I think because I'm a breastfeeding mom and we can relate and I've been through all this stuff um, myself. So I definitely get the concern of, you know, is my milk supply going to drop when I try to start exercising? Is my milk supply going to drop when I change the way that I'm eating and all that kind of stuff? And I think that's a really, really valid concern, right? Because I think we've all been kind of scared into, um, you know, the myths that, you know, anything that you do can affect your baby and we just want the best for our babies bottom line we want the best for our babies we want them to have to be well fed we want them to grow up to be healthy like that's our number one priority and um so it's totally a valid concern however there's a myth around breastfeeding and weight loss and that has to do specifically with exercise and nutrition. And the first reason is that exercise, ex moderately exercising does not have, there's no research to back up the myth that exercise negatively impacts your milk supply. All right. So, okay. You say you nursed, you, you nurse for four, your four year old for two and a half years, and then anxiously awaiting your second baby to breastfeed. Awesome. Okay. So this is going to be good info for you for for the second baby that's coming, I'm so excited. That's amazing. Hopefully you're hanging in there, girl. <laughs> I know those the that second pregnancy can be rough when you're trying to tote around a, a, a four-year-old too. So, um, okay. So let's talk about three reasons why your milk supply might drop while you're trying to lose weight, okay? So the number one reason people think is exercise, but that's actually a myth. So we just talked about that. That's actually a myth. There's no research that backs that up if you are moderately exercising. Now, if you're doing something extremely intense, that's a different story, right? Because then you're burning, and you might be burning like an insane amount of calories that your body just can't support while you're breastfeeding, okay? But if you're doing moderate exercise, there you, are good to go, all right? You, that will not affect your milk supply. And this is backed up by lactation consultants and doctors, this information that I'm giving you, okay? However, every woman is different, so I wanna preface this video by saying every woman is different. You do need to consult your own doctor because there is a tiny percent of women, 2% of women, that actually suffer from you know some sort of disorder that keeps them from pr producing ample amounts of milk, okay? So there is 2% of women that do have that condition okay obviously it's a very small amount but if you think that that might be you you really need to make sure that you consult with a doctor consult with a lactation consultant and um, get that figured out okay all right so no, the number one reason why your milk supply will drop while you are trying to lose weight is because of because you're under eating 
Okay, so it's not because a lot of people think, well, I stopped eating um, Oreos or I stopped eating all the cookies every night and all of a sudden my milk supply is dropping. What's going on? No, it's not because you stopped eating Oreos. It's not because you stopped eating donuts or whatever, you know, junk food you had um, every night. It's just because you're, you stopped eating something and you didn't replace it with anything else. You stopped eating the junk food and you're not replacing it with any type of calories or nutrients, okay? So if you are significantly decreasing your calories, your milk supply will absolutely, well, will most likely drop, okay? So if you, if you go into a calorie deficit, your body cannot support lactation, right? And what happens is that your body, like, it, 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 hold, it wants to hold on to your fat if it doesn't get enough calories, okay? It wants to hold on to your fat, and so it starts, um, it, your weight loss will actually stop because it's trying to preserve your milk for your baby. That's, you know, that's just like your body's natural cues. You want to be able to feed your and nourish your baby, and so if... If that happens, your weight loss will stall and it will go into preservation mode, okay? Um, so what you need to be doing is you need to be eating at least 500 or more calories than you normally do, typically in the range of 250 to 500 calories more than normal, depending on how frequently your baby is breastfeeding, um, you know, how old they are, like all that kind of stuff matters. But typically, rule of thumb, just add 500 calories um, and really listen to your body. That's the hugest thing. If you are listening to your body, you do not want to deprive your body of, of calories and of nutrients, um, but continually feed your body with good calories and good nutrients. So listen to your body. If you're hungry, you should um, drink a lot of water and you should be eating um, food. So graze on foods throughout the day, eat as you need. Um, and you, you shouldn't feel like you're you're stuffing your face. Um, I know there's some some women that are like, I feel like I have to just constantly stuff my face when I'm breastfeeding. And yes, you will be hungrier when you're breastfeeding because you you are you're naturally going into a calorie deficit. But if you just kind of maintain and listen to your body and and the next tip I'm going to give you is going to help you from not having to constantly stuff your face. Um, because the reason why you're having to stuff your face is because <laughs> you're probably not getting any nutrients. And that's my second um, reason that you your milk supply might drop is because you're not eating nutritionally dense foods. Okay? So if you're eating a bunch of empty calories, if you're eating the junk food, if you're driving through McDonald's, um, you know, picking up donuts on the way to work, like that is what's causing you to have to constantly eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and never, ever, ever feel full because you're not feeding your body with the things that it's actually craving and what it needs to like produce that milk for your baby. Um, so um, adding a lot of nutrient dense foods is really, really important. So just like I said previously, if you are subtracting the junk food, you don't just subtract the junk food and put nothing there, right? Because then you're just subtracting tons, you're subtracting calories. And calories aren't necessarily the, necessarily the problem when you're breastfeeding. It's what you're eating while you're breastfeeding that makes the difference. So eating lots of calorie dense or nutrient dense foods that have good calories, um, diet or foods that are high in fats like flax seeds and chia seeds and coconut oil and fish and um grass-fed beef and stuff with a lot of good omega-3 fatty acids and nuts and fruit and veggies like I mean there's so much you can eat when you're breastfeeding right but it's about taking the bad stuff out and adding the good nutrition in so hopefully that makes sense for you guys um, you don't necessarily need to exclude anything so you don't need to exclude carbs from your diet you actually probably shouldn't be excluding carbs from your diet especially if you're in the first Oh, six to eight months of breastfeeding because that's like you just need you need a little bit more carbs right it's about the kind of carbs that you're eating so instead of eating the donuts instead of eating the pizza eat you know brown rice and eat oats and things like that things that have a lot of um, nutrition in them so you can eat all the carbs you can eat the protein you can eat the healthy fats it's about eating the right things that are really essential to you producing energy and getting them in the right amounts so hopefully that that makes sense all right so the third reason why your milk supply might drop while you're trying to lose weight is that you're not 
nursing on demand or you're just not nursing often enough. Um, and this is a huge reason I see a lot of women, they, they go back to work, right? Um, and they don't understand why their milk supply is dropping or it might even coincide like they go back to work and then a couple weeks later they start, you know, exercising again and they think, well, maybe it's because I'm exercising again that my milk supply is dropping. Typically it's not because you're, well, it's not because you're exercising. It's because you're just not nursing this frequently. All right. So having lots of skin to skin contact is really important because breastfeeding and your milk supply, it's all a supply and demand process. So the more that your baby has skin to skin contact with you, the more that your body is going to produce milk. So um, you might even see this if you are um, a working mom and you're pumping more now than you were say in the beginning. Um, maybe like I said, you went back to work or whatever it might be, um, you're pumping more and your baby is not feeding like on your breast as often your milk supply might drop a little bit from that. And it's, it's not something to be like freaked out about. Maybe you need to add an extra pumping session or as soon as you get home, make sure that you have that skin to skin contact with your baby um, and make sure that you're just nursing as frequently as you can when you are home. And that can help you boost up your supply. So that's actually one of the biggest reasons that women see a decrease in supply, specifically after they're going back to work or after they've been back to work for a little while. Um, it's not going to be the exercise thing. Exercise is going to be the best way for you to um, be able to lose weight in a healthy way. So instead of, you know, restricting calories, like you do not want to restrict calories, calories like we talked about before, the way that you can lose weight is just through exercising. Simply adding an exercise, adding exercise into your day is going to help you be able to lose weight healthy in a healthy way and not see any decrease in your milk supply. So it's just really important for you guys to be to be aware of the fact that you know your the whole thing is a supply and demand process. So the more that the more milk is being demanded from you <laughs> um, from direct feeding versus pumping, okay, that's that's really where the supply is going to come from. And so just being aware of those things is really important. So I hope that these tips were helpful for you guys. I'm just gonna recap real quick. Um, so these were three reasons why your milk supply might drop um, while you're trying to lose weight. It's because you're under eating. Um, you've gotta be eating at least 250 to 500 calories more than you normally do. And if you're, if you're cutting out junk food, you've gotta be adding in healthy nutrient dense calories. So that's the second tip. You gotta be, you're not eating nutritionally dense food. So make sure you're eating the good nutritionally dense food, lots of healthy fats, lots of complex carbs, protein, all that stuff is good for you. And then the third reason is that you're just not nursing frequently enough um, or you're just not nursing on demand. And so you just need to be aware of that and make sure that you have that skin to skin contact and that you are breastfeeding your baby um, when they when they when they need it, essentially. So hope that this was helpful for you guys. Um, Let's see. Okay, Crystal, 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 Crystal. She said, thanks for sharing this. I'm 21 weeks with my first baby and have been curious about losing weight after and breastfeeding. I need to get back on my shake <laughs> Yes, I feel you. Um, yeah, and having like, having sometimes having a supplement can help you just to get more of the nutrient dense stuff because when you are breastfeeding, you're obviously a new mom and you're like, it's hard to cook sometimes. And so definitely having like a superfoods shake is like sometimes just an easy go-to. Um, but you do want to be aware that you don't want to be replacing that with, you know, and you don't want to be like meal replacing, if that makes sense, because you don't want to be decreasing your um, calorie intake. So hopefully that makes sense. Just make sure that you are getting enough calories. Um, and one thing you can do is just add, like, add more calories to your shake, add more good stuff, like add avocado to your shake, add flax seeds to your shake and spinach and, you know, almond butter, like all that kind of good stuff so that it, you're getting a lot more calories inside of that one thing. Okay. So, oops. All right, I think that was the only question on there. All right, so yeah, so it is possible to lose weight while you are breastfeeding and to do it in a healthy way that does not compromise your milk supply. And um, again, this is one of the biggest topics that I get asked 
about. So definitely hit me up if you have any specific questions um, about you and what's going on with, with your baby or if you've got a baby coming and you're concerned about it, definitely let me know. I'm more than happy to chat. I do have a, a Body After Baby Boot Camp that's starting on July 9th. And in that, I teach you how to effectively lose weight and do it in a healthy way that does not compromise your milk supply. Um, and it's a 12-week program. So we walk you step by step through how to do that. Um, so I will drop the link for that if you want more information on that. Otherwise, make sure to send me um, a message if you have any further questions. I love you guys and I wish you the best on your breastfeeding journey if that's where you are right now or if it's where you're headed. Um, it's definitely an awesome experience and I just want you to know that it is absolutely possible to get healthy while you're breastfeeding. It really, really is and I don't want you to feel like it's not possible because um, I know there's so many women who, who struggle with it and just don't know how to do it in the right way and we just, as moms, we worry. Like we're, Sometimes we're just worriers and we do not want to compromise anything that could affect our baby and I totally understand that um, and I want to help you and teach you how to do it in the right way. So thanks for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Have a good Monday. Bye.